I am taking a look at the Libertarian ticket. If it were Governor Weld at the top, I would vote for him because I know Governor Weld very well and I respect him, but I have a lot of concerns about Governor Johnson's drug use. Welcome back. In this unpredictable election year, debate organizers are trying to expect the unexpected. And there is a report from Politico that, of course, they know they're going to have to keep their options open for an extra podium on stage. And if either of my next two guests have their way, they'll, they'll have to set up two podiums uh, and make it a four-way. We'll talk to each of them in just a moment. But let me give you some background. According to our NBC News survey monkey poll, Hillary Clinton has raced to a 10-point lead over Donald Trump. But watch what happens when this becomes a four-way race. Trump's number drops by three points. Clinton's drops by seven here, by the way, in, in this one. Libertarian candidate Gary Johnson clocks in with double digits, and Jill Stein is sitting at 4%. But each of these third-party candidates has to reach 15% before they can grace the debate stage as far as the Commission on Presidential Debates is concerned. In some states, they're still fighting for ballot access in a year where the leading candidates have historic low popularity. The environment is ripe for a third or fourth or fifth alternative. So why are they still having trouble winning over some of these disaffected voters? Joining me now is Libertarian presidential nominee Gary Johnson. Governor Johnson, welcome back to the show, sir. Chuck, always good to be with you. Thank you. I take it by that we have a little bit of a satellite delay, so I will try to not interrupt you too much. Number one, let me get you to respond to Susan Collins, who has concerns about your drug use. Talk to her. My drug use? Uh, well, uh, honesty, I think, is uh, first and foremost. So three months ago, I was asked uh, if I had used marijuana, and yeah, my answer was yes. And I hope in the context of honesty that she would appreciate that. And you know what? I'm one of 100 million Americans who have uh, consumed marijuana. We're not, uh, we're not criminals. And as President of the United States, uh, I don't think you should be on the job impaired. It's a 24-7 job, so I'm not going to consume any marijuana or alcohol. And uh, same running for president. Uh, it's a 24-7 job. I'm not consuming any marijuana, and it's been 29 years on the alcohol. Nothing to do with being an alcoholic, just the notion of being the best that you can be. Let me ask you, do you think 15% is a fair uh, threshold to meet to get into the debates? Chuck, I think 15% is fair. What's not fair is uh, not being included in the top line when the polls go out. In other words, the top line is Clinton and Trump, and then maybe two or three lines down, you add Johnson to that equation, and then 99% of the media only reports on that top line. So that's what's not fair. If it were a top line question right off the bat, Bill Weldon, myself, being on the ballot in all 50 states, how about Johnson, Trump? Trump, Clinton, uh, I'll bet we'd be at 20% if that were a top line question. Okay, fair enough. But what else are, can you do? I mean, you've got a I, look, I understand you want more media attention, but you, you and I have been at this a long time. I can't remember a, a new a presidential campaign where I've seen the Libertarian nominee get as much attention as you've gotten. Uh, so you're sitting at 10%. Uh, has it turned into money? Are we, should we expect to see you with TV ads soon? I guess I, I would ask is, why do you think you haven't spiked more? Do you really think it's all due to media coverage? Well, first of all, you've got an assumption here that why haven't we spiked more when the reality is, is just in the last several weeks, maybe the last four weeks, we've do effectively doubled. So uh, um, the momentum that we're seeing on this side is very significant. And two former Republican governors uh, reelected in heavily Democrat states. Look, we're offering a big uh, six lane highway down the middle between the extremes of uh, Clinton, who's big government and uh, Trump, who's uh, just about uh, as isolationist as it gets, uh, he said 150 things that would disqualify anybody else from being president of the United States. But just turn the page and there'll be something else uh, that he has to say. Are you comfortable being a spoiler? 
Well, look, if you want to waste your vote and vote for Clinton or Trump, uh, have at it. Uh, look, a wasted vote is voting for somebody that you don't believe in. Um, I think that we are offering up something that most Americans can believe in. Smaller government, uh, um, smaller government is a good thing. That's less money out of your and my pockets. And then being socially inclusive, accepting. And then regarding these military interventions, uh, uh, when it comes to re regime change, uh, it's had the unintended consequence of making the world less safe, not more safe. Chuck, a couple of weeks ago, active military personnel, uh, there was a poll done and uh, they favored uh, Johnson Weld 39% to Trump 31 to Clinton 20. I think that speaks volumes. No, it does, and libertarian candidates in the past have also done better with enlisted military than the two major parties in the past. That's the best I've heard since. Gary Johnson, I'm going to have to leave it there. Appreciate you coming on. We had a tough satellite delay, but I appreciate you dealing with it. Thank you, sir.